Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, episode 75. I am Neil. I am Annalise. How are you? I'm good and tired and hungry. It's Friday night. We usually record on... Friday night! Friday. I always sing the same song on Friday night, but I need to come up with a new... Let's hear it. Friday. No, it's always the Motley Crue song. But I need... Um... I was thinking Friday night's all right. Is that Elton John? Oh, Friday. Yeah. Of whom I saw. Yeah. Well, listen to anyway. Um, oh, no, that's Saturday. It's Saturday night's oh, all right. Saturday night's all right. <laughs> Yeah. Whoops. Well, I didn't see him. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So, typically, we record on Saturday. We're recording on Friday because we have a busy weekend. Very busy. Because we're going to celebrate your birthday finally. Yay. Going to go out on the town in lovely Napa Valley, Whoop California. Old with, people uh, style. <laughs> with my mom and dad. Old people style. Yeah. Like, because we're old? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I hope to be in bed the crack ass at 10. <laughs> it should be fun. And then, yeah. So, we have a busy weekend. Yeah, so... Um, Getting this out of the way. Although I kind of like recording on Friday nights now. I do too. I mean, it depends. If I can cheers. get home at an early... Cheers. Oh, you're almost empty already? Um, oh, we should have filled yeah. it up before. That's right. all the ice. So well, we're drinking... Uh, well, we're all over the place I don't, Let me uh, finish what I was going to say first. Yeah. Um, so we're going to um, go out to dinner, and then we talked about uh, going out a little bit before and um, doing some pregame. Right. And I was listening to a couple of things podcast this week, and they had a very long discussion about pre gaming and how their pre gaming has changed over the years. Right. <laughs> I was like, and I can totally relate. Like, you know, back in the day, I'd go dancing with one of my girlfriends or something, and we would not even start getting ready till eight o'clock or nine o'clock at night. And you know, it, and now I'm like, dude, if we're up past ten, I don't know what. Right. <laughs> Uh, and they had a good talk about the. Up a tiny oh yeah, bit. and they had a good talk about the sleep hangover, and I'm like, yes, totally get the sleep hangover. Right. How, how my, how's my mic? There, there good? you go. Okay. Yeah. Um. I know yeah. you don't like it. But... I don't like it in my face. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna start leaning to the left so I can get around <laughs> it. <laughs> no. It's, anyway, it's interesting because if um, back in the day, and uh, we'll. Uh, it's kind of, oh my God, I am all over the place. I don't even know where to start. I got to start over. So darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com, <laughs> go there and check it out. We have an, a free app if you want to listen, and that's really cool too. Start uh, over. So yeah, so pregame. <laughs> so back in the day, mm -hmm. um, Heno and I, when we used to go out, obviously we pregamed. Sometimes we only gamed. We never made it out. Right. Like, yeah, we just, <laughs> just keep gaming. Um, and we're going to meet Nate. Nate and I were emailing today, and he is going to come and visit with us for a little while. Oh, that's awesome. And it's so funny. He's like, I don't care what it is. Don't feel like you have to set time aside. Uh, He'll just, just show up know. where we are? Yeah. And great. I'm awesome. like, that's that's great. But I do want to actually hang with him. So no, I'm for like, sure. oh, we'll, we'll make time. It'll that's be no nice. Uh, but uh, when we used to go out, obviously, and, and there was many times when the three of us went out with other people, there was a lot of pre-gaming. So <laughs> there's some fun pre-game stories. Uh, categories uh, was a big pre-game game that we'd play with the cards, the 10, the jack, king, queen, and the ace. Was it a drinking game? Yeah, I thought, I thought we played it once with my sister a long time ago, or we were going to. I don't think so it's like if you pick it, if I remember correctly, I, I probably have it wrong, but if you, right. if you, Pick a ten, the person to your right drinks. If you pick a jack, the person to your I left think drinks. That there may have been discussions about playing, right. but I don't really do the drinking games because I'm not so good at the drinking. So right. I don't really want to do that. But it's a fun game because it's not that I don't want to play the game. It's I don't really want to drink that much. Well, so. it, the cool thing is we've had we had other people <laughs> in the crew. We had people in the crew that didn't drink at all, but we'd still all play because the right. people wanted. To drink. That's what I'm I saying. Mean, like, the whole point I, is I would play. I just don't want to yeah. get drunk. We so. never played. Uh, games purposely to get people hammered that right. didn't want to get hammered. It was like, if you want to drink, you drink. If you didn't want to drink, you know, we weren't the, the kind of people that were like, no, man, you got to drink shot, it. Shot, shot, Unless shot, it was shot. the people who wanted to drink. <laughs> right. You know, like if, if I'm like, oh, I don't want that, they'd be like, no, I drink. You know, but right. I was, so, yeah, so it's neat. So then the queen, um, I think the uh, the queen, the queen was a category. Hmm. And then the king was community. Like everyone drank, and then the ace. There was a cup in the middle, and you filled it. Like typically, you did it with beer, and every time you got an ace, you poured some in, and the person who got the last ace had to drink the the cup in the in the middle. Mm. So it, it's it's kind of a fun game. I might have the ace and the king, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I Whatever. saw a game of chandeliers once. That's a good game. And Hannah introduced me. To and that a game. couple of friends got really drunk really fast, and then oh. there was a discussion of how are these people getting home? Yeah, chandeliers <laughs> is chandeliers is tough. And it's then like he had quarters. to tag in his wife. He's like, "Honey, tag yeah. me out," and she's like, "What?" 
He's like, I can't, I can't. I was like, is that allowed? <laughs> or take outs allowed? <laughs> I totally cut you off there. But uh, so tonight we were clean. So we have um, beer yes, from that, a local. I was going to. We got Connors. two jugs of beer. Two uh, <laughs> growlers, as they're called, but they're two jugs. That's what I jugs. said. Jugs. Yeah, they are jugs. <laughs> and if you check out the YouTube video, it's kind of funny. We have the two jugs on the podcast table in. Um, ice. In metal bowls, bowls in ice. <laughs> Which is going to make them. We were a trying mess. to uh, keep them cold, and we also now realize that when I want a fresh beverage, which it's I'm going to need soon, yeah, it's um, going to be really in. loud. So there's going to be, be really ice loud. all over the place. <laughs> There'll be a mess. Well. You guys probably going to have to watch the YouTube video on this episode because it'll be hilarious. Uh, yeah, and you'll be able to hear it too. Yeah. Are so, you ready for more now? Not quite yet, but okay. um, tell everybody what we have. Uh, I am drinking um, the El Dorado IPA from Carneros Brewing mm -hmm. in Napa. Uh, it's good. Um, they're, they're two, the brewery's two years old, so, uh, they make really good beer, but they're also kind of, you know, getting their feet under Yeah, them. they're newer and they're trying stuff out. So th this beer is, is good, uh, for an IPA. It needs a little bit more depth to it, but it's tasty. Um, I, you know what I did have? I tried, they gave me a did shot Did you do glass. a tasting when you were there? Um, up uh, to like, seriously a shot glass. It was oh, a okay. shot glass. Uh, of this beer, because mm -hmm. they I'd never had this before. They have 12 beers now on top. Oh, they had eight before, right? Yeah. Right. And they had a raspberry sour, Ooh. which was actually really good, but it I wasn't sure if I wanted a whole growler of it. Right. So I didn't get it. And then you have their Hefeweizen, which we've talked about before. Right. Really and like. has like a little bit of a banana taste to banana it. Banana flavor. Which I like. So. Um, Mine isn't very uh, strong. I think it's like 5.5 .5 or mm -hmm. something. They don't make super strong Mine's beers. Mine's only a 6.5. They yeah. have a stout. I think they go as high as 8 mm -hmm. or 8.5, which is fairly strong for right. beer. Um, but can you crazy. tell me about um, their place? Because the last, when we went before, they had just opened. Mm -hmm. And they had another building they were building, but it wasn't right open yet. And they just had the one area. And it was a really cool, and it was little. It had a bar. On the and we were actually thinking about having outside, a party there. Yeah, on the outside, it all looks the same. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what changed. Although the they did next pave, door. they did pave the road when you pull in because it's on mm -hmm. a busy road, so you can actually move off to the side. You don't block traffic when you want to turn in. Nice. Um, but it everything. But the what about the next building? Is that not opened this, yet? I there, it wasn't open when I was there. Oh, okay. Not to say it's not. I mean, I was there. I early. thought since it's um the Carneros family here in Napa actually owns a lot of stuff like the Carneros wineries and there's the Carneros Inn and it's from the Seha family. Is that what mm -hmm. it is? Um, but so, um, and there's Seha wineries and stuff. So I, I thought maybe it might be a, a It's like a, a bunch tasting. of brothers and uncles and I mean, yeah, it's a but, huge... but there's now daughters and cousins yeah. and sisters. And so, I mean, it's, um, um, I, one of the Seha ladies, um, ladies of Seha, if you will, follows us on, um, Twitter. Cool. So anyway, but that's so that's cool. really so cool. Anyway, so thank you for our... grabbing me something. I didn't know you were going to get me something. Yeah. So thank you. Yay. Right. So there's. Cheers. Cheers. Let me know <laughs> when you're ready so we can. Well, you can do it yourself. If you want. <laughs> I might need a hand. I can make a mess. Two liters. But um, 67.7 fluid ounces. It's been a while since we stopped in there and got a growler. Yeah. Yeah, it has been. Good Friday night. Oh, we're having pizza. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're a genius. Well, let's get on with this show so we can get the hell out of here and eat some pizza. <laughs> we always, uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but we always have pizza on recording, recording night. Because it's easy. Because we do a take and bake. Right. So it's kind of like we don't really have to plan for dinner. And then when we're done, uh, since there's no editing, I just get the show all done and we right. warm up the oven and then we can eat. And there's a NASCAR we always do, race on. Because we always do it at night. So. And there was a football game on earlier. It's so whoa. It's a crazy night. So much stuff. <laughs> uh, let's get this out of the way before I forget. Okay, ready? Yeah. And here's your, I got some of my, here's your Napa Valley weather report for this recording time well, on Friday right. night. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Outside. Oh, I think I got that wrong. Oh, well. Outside, it says it's 73 degrees. 69% humidity. It's 74 degrees inside with 62% humidity. Peak wind today of 17 miles an hour, average of seven. And at time of recording, it was blowing out of the east at eight miles an hour. <laughs> and the barometer was at 29.83. Like and we did talk last time, if you waited till the end of the episode, mm -hmm. about getting nickel and VF, but it was kind of for nickel because he's a goofball. Uh, stickers that said roll the bumper mm -hmm. and they arrived. So mm -hmm. we're going to deliver those uh, to him, to them, I should RC say. RC Triple C. 
our triple C three PO. So there, I don't know, like anyone cares. We're like, oh, good, <laughs> pick stickers. Well, we talked about it good last time. Yeah. So update. Um, yeah. Funny. Get what close. You, I need you, to make some calls. What do you got? <laughs> I got nothing. Oh, Nate said he can take us to Nike store if we want to buy some stuff. Mm, and well, hmm. I have a double edged sword with that. With Nike? Yeah. Why? I like Nike, Nike stuff, but they sponsor Michael Vick, so I don't. I've been not buying their stuff. Oh, well, oh. whatever. If yeah. you're gonna go by that, you're not gonna have anything. I know, true. Yeah. So, but you know, yeah. I was thinking about trying some Under Armour shoes because Under Armour has a um, line of shoes now. But well, we can talk about that later. Sounds <laughs> good. <laughs> we can talk about that later. All right. But um, I have kind of a funny work week. It's not funny because nothing funny happened, but it's oh. funny because I'm a weirdo. Oh, okay. <laughs> so um, occasionally I wear my workout clothes during work hours. I just don't feel like changing or whatever. Which is really funny because you used to give yeah, other I, people right. hell. Yeah, I'm like, oh, my God, you can't even bother to put on freaking pants. Good Lord. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't matter really what I wear to work. So it's I don't there's not like a dress code or anything like that. Right. So and that you know of. Um, but I'm not, I can't really wear anything very nice because a lot of times I'll have to do something where I get dirty or, right. and, um, that's actually one of the reasons why I usually have like an extra change of clothes somewhere at work or, mm-hmm. and I have that little suit that I can zip <laughs> you, on or whatever. You have changes of clothes everywhere. You have like <laughs> six bags, you have six go bags in your car. You have like, uh, you never know when you got to go on the, you never, you never go on, when you're on the run, you yeah. got to go. <laughs> you might have to change and read a bunch of magazines really quickly. Uh, that's funny. Like four jackets. I don't know. <laughs> it's hilarious when I have to take the car in or your car. Well, it's our car, but your car in for service or I have to do something to, to it. I'm like empty it out. emptying it out. And I'm like, there's four jackets in here. <laughs> Why is there four jackets? And then I'm like, how many? Ma- this magazine's from 2012. We didn't even have the car to in do 2012. Something with it. I just keep forgetting. But like there's six umbrellas. I'm like, okay, that's great. It doesn't there's rain There's only one here umbrella anymore. now. You took the rest. <laughs> it's it. Put them away. <laughs> Like a slurpy well, I can't jiggle the ice, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Does, it doesn't sound as good. <laughs> it's going to sound hilarious. But right? um, anyway, so I was going to say is uh, this week I wasn't feeling good a couple of days. There was a couple of days I felt really kind of sick at work. And I had really good intentions. And I got up and I took a shower and put on my workout clothes and attempted to go to the gym, and I just didn't really make it. Like, one day I just kind of stood in front of the gym and stared at it <laughs> for, like, five minutes. <laughs> Why do you take a shower before you work out? Why not just Because it's more convenient, out? and then that way after the, after the, well, because I, like, when I have to, you know, what? wash really well and shave and wash my hair, I do that when I get up. And then after the gym, I just kind of do, like, the, the a bit quick soap rinse of the important parts and then get just jump in real quick and jump out, you know? To clean up because I don't have the time after, oh, I see. and I have the time in the morning, but I don't have the time later. You're not, so. yeah. So, and it, and it makes it like a two and a half shower day or one and a half showers or something. Gotcha. But um, anyway, so I just w- wear the yoga pants a lot at work this week. I just sat in the basement, and, like made soldered cables together. So it was just kind of funny because you know I get made fun of when I wear that. So I and imagine. then I actually got dressed today and wore normal work clothes. And in my head, I was thinking that my coworker is going to say something. And he did. Like, he was there for five minutes. And then he's like, oh, got dressed today, huh? And I'm like, oh, knew it. Right. So Obviously, I need to wear the work attire more often. <laughs> Maybe not wear the cozy pants so much. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I mean, I, if I at work, if I could wear cozy pants, I would. Yeah, they don't really care. So, um, you know, I can technically wear whatever. So I've been kind of playing with that a little bit more lately, like mm-hmm. kind of just going a little more casual. <laughs> I, um, I worked retail through, uh, I had such a weird work history, but I worked a lot of retail. I know I meant to go into that on your origin episode and we didn't oh, that's go right. on it very much, but, but I worked retail for a while in high school and then a little bit after high school and while I was going through beauty school and then I, yeah, then I worked it with the YMCA. But, um, I remember I used to hop around cause I'd get recruited to different stores Mm-hmm. And my last day at whatever store I was working on, but there was this one store in particular that had glass out as like the doorway. I mean, the doorway is open, Mm -hmm. but it had glass on either side. And my last day I wore like a sweatshirt and sweats and I bought a Nerf basketball hoop and stuck it to the outside. So I was in the middle of the mall (laughs) playing Nerf basketball with whoever would come by and play with me. (laughs) That was a fun, I had a good day that day. 
<laughs> I actually sold a lot of stuff too, which was it really gets funny. people into the store. It does. You have to be out there and have to be, uh, you know, people person. I was a big fan. I wore like the white high tops, mm-hmm. and I had like the LL Cool J, where I had like either both of my sweat legs pulled up to my calves, or want just one, which I still do. Which you, you do? I wear, yes. I, wear. I actually have wondered many times why you bother wearing sweats because you usually you push them up. Shorts, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, I had a, um, which was really funny. I had a Jamaica white um sweatshirt which a friend of mine left at my house so I, I wore it and i used to wear a chp hat backwards and that was what my, my work and i had really long hair at the time too speaking of uh my hair's not even long yet and it's huge is it poofing out on it's you it's poofing out like crazy are you going to see a lot of baseball hats in your future yes a lot of backwards baseball hats in of... your future i can't see them so they're going to be <laughs> oh, no. in your future <laughs> I'm going to be looking at the back of a lot of hats. <laughs> yes, the back. Oh, yeah. Because I'll be looking at your face. And if you're going to wear them else. backwards, then I what? Going, I was going back to the ovipositor. Ovipositor? <laughs> I don't know how to say that word correctly. I thought it was ovi, but it's ovi. ovi. Right. No, I don't think it's ovi. Yeah. Mm. Ovi. Ovi. Mm. Uh, so I, uh, this week I went, my tires on Pedro are going to get ready for needing, We need new, new tires, tires soon? Yeah. It, because he's almost got 70,000 miles on these right. tires. Wow. So I just decided on the day uh, I went to run errands that I'd go check. And it's so funny. So I pull in and the guy comes out. And Did you go to the tire place down the tire, street? Or, Les Schwab. or the, okay. yeah, the awesome Les Schwab. Yeah. And so the guy comes out and I'm like, hey, I'm like, uh, I'm going to need tires on this suit. And I just wanted to get an idea of how much they were going to be. And he's like, for this thing, like they're cheap. Like, oh, all right that's not and really it, a number so but i made i made a i made a joke and i'm like i don't need anything z-rated and he looked at me like you're an idiot I'm like, eh, I thought it was funny those <laughs> 20 something year old kids like you're a jackass that's not even funny i'm like oh there's like these mercedes and m3s and the you know in the parking lot and all these really nice cars are getting worked on and i'm like yeah. i think that i've reached that age where just nobody gets me i'm like, I'm like yeah. <laughs> yeah i realized and no. you look at me like i'm an idiot not, when i thought yeah. about it i'm like it's not funny of course I, you know I'm, i don't need to you it's deep. funny yeah. and maybe to me it would have been funny but wow mm-hmm. so he was like yeah so we went inside and so <laughs> that's why the target lady pretends to not know me <laughs> so when when he gave me the price i'm like oh I'm like, is that for all four? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, well, what about balancing and alignment? He goes, no, that that's everything. I'm like, that's it. And he goes, yeah. And he goes, uh, these are seventy thousand miles tires. I'm like, oh, are they are they good? He goes, no, they're good. I'm like, oh, all right. Well, thanks. I'll be back. <laughs> Henceforth, why I thought, well, maybe the navigation system. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, which also, so when I went, I went to. Target first with the Starbucks inside, mm-hmm. and I went to Starbucks, and I had I texted you about this, but it's funny because you always, I don't want to say complain, but discuss how they get your coffee order wrong, right? And usually I don't care. However, since I although they don't get your coffee order right often, right? I get a cappuccino, <laughs> you just and it don't ends up complain being about it. A latte, and I'm like, right. yeah, whatever. A lot so of milk in your cappuccino. For the last, I don't know what, six months mm-hmm. I've been having lattes, a latte every now and then, not a cappuccino. And so there's a new guy who works there and I ordered my cappuccino and it was a cappuccino. That's awesome. And I was so happy. And then I realized. You're so like, happy oh. that you texted me like, I got like, a coffee and they and got then, it right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm so excited. And then I felt bad because I'm like, oh. That shouldn't be as big of a deal as it is, but I'm very happy that you got the coffee you wanted and paid for. It was tasty. Yeah. I enjoyed it. <laughs> the guy did at uh, the tire place did not enjoy me. Well, but I enjoyed the tire place. The coffee. I did enjoy. I like the tire. I was looking around. I'm like, maybe I'll get some rims. I'm like, what? I should ask. I'm like, can you put 24s on this thing? You probably would. You know, like, that's even worse. You than might the not be the thing. first person that's asked that question, though. Surprisingly, mm-hmm. or not surprisingly, I'm not really sure. Uh, yeah. Um, I also want to say that um, for those of you who've asked and are wondering, um, our kitty Roy seems to be doing a little bit better. Yeah. So. You know, we're not throwing a parade, but he's doing better. I wouldn't so. throw a parade either way. <laughs> that seems like a lot of work. The so Roy Pride we won't Parade. Do that. <laughs> All but, the floats yeah. have to be really, really fat. He's not that fat and anymore. Slow. That's the thing. And like, it's got to have he, like now, one leg that doesn't I think he's work. like a little bit slower and he is not fat. He's normal size now. He's lost so much weight. Uh, reminded me, speaking of. Roy mm-hmm. uh, wanted to, uh, I know right now, 
uh, Seven Days a Geek are doing their live show. Yes. So hope it went well. I was going to say, How did do you Lori ever remind record you and of... think? It was, I was going to say something <laughs> else, but it wasn't going to be very nice. And I didn't mean it meanly. Right. So I'm like, ah, never mind. Right. Um, it would but get since the tire joke didn't go over well, you're just going to play yeah, it safe. <laughs> yeah. It would get misconstrued. Um, so uh, I don't know what I was saying. Something about. Seven Days a Geek. If oh, you record. When you, do you ever, whenever we're recording, do you ever think it's live? I do sometimes. Like I'll be saying something and I'll expect somebody right now to be listening to it. Um, sometimes I like crave that immediate response sort of kind of and like expect like, oh, when you're listening to this and I'm like, oh, well, it's going to be like a few days before that person listens or something. So mm -hmm. I think I do forget sometimes. Yeah, it's it's interesting. I keep swallowing in the microphone. So it's going to be a bunch of recordings of me going. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> That's a um, meal swallowing. Did you? Well, <laughs> come on. If you're going to do it, do it right. You know what I'm saying? Did you want some I could more? use a refill, yes, please. All right. Uh, you're going to have to talk because right. I'm probably going to spill beer all over this. Um, it's probably going to be really noisy. I was going to well, ask I'll talk. I mean, I'll and remind talk. you, if you don't mind. If oh, God. You, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Broke the seal. If, Sorry about the ice noise. I'm going to see if I can. Um, do you want me to hold it up or no, do anything? You talk, okay. You, you talk. Um, I was hoping maybe as my um, husband and oh, also hairdresser. I was going to pee. <laughs> I swear he's pouring beer. Watch the YouTube video. <laughs> pouring beer through my Oh, closet. whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Easy, easy. There you okay. go. Thank you. All right. That's very filmy. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, it's not too bad, actually. But you always want a good head on your beer. I suppose. I don't like it to film so much, though. It releases the flavor. Well, you, you know. Well, whatever. Oh, my little soundboard went to sleep. Hello, wake up. Uh, um, what were you I, I was going to ask if you would cut my bangs tomorrow. <laughs> we could talk about that after, but I yes. just wrote it down because I want to forget. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> yes, I will cut your bangs. Um, Neil is not only my husband, he's also my a part time hairdresser. Yes. I uh also have one more story I wanted to talk about. Can you I, tell it and poor beer at the same time? Probably not. Oh god. Which what? I wanted to talk about, which I thought was funny because last week we went to um niece's Birthday party. Right. One year birthday Jenny? party. Yeah. Right. I didn't know if she wanted her name out there. Oh, she's sorry. Kind of, she's kind of private. Well, we kind of say that, said it last week, so it's already yeah, out there. Yeah, but she got kind of mad at me. At did she, party. did she you get had, a text? Well, she was eating her cake. She was like, bitch, what are you telling my name on your <laughs> Pretty sure podcast? she wasn't thinking about anything but cake while yeah. she was eating that cake. She was getting after <laughs> Um, So it was kind of funny because we were needed to bring milk and uh -huh. orange juice and ice. Right. And I was thinking, who, what the hell, who the hell wants milk at a god? Yeah, we went through the milk and no one drank orange juice. Well, I, what's even funnier than that is um, your sister-in-law, uh, co-host of Who the What Now? Michelle, Michelle, yeah. Mike's lovely wife. And uh, I I think she's so freaking, every time I see her, I just like her more and more. I'm like, she's, she's so awesome. freaking awesome. Yeah. So uh, she was like, uh, as we were going, I didn't have coffee that morning. I was really tired. I didn't sleep the night before. Right. And, and we were going to stop for coffee and then we passed coffee. the coffee. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're like, okay, so forget it. So we'll go. So right. she had was going to make iced coffees because mm -hmm. she brought some coffee syrup and was going to make iced coffees. And so who wants an iced coffee? And I'm like, oh, I do. And she's like, cool, I'll make one. And so she made it with milk. And it was excellent. But I thought it was hilarious because I was complaining the whole time about who the hell wants milk. I'm the one who drank the damn milk at the barbecue right. or the... Not the barbecue, the party. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's great. Of course. Of course. How else would it happen? Everybody did. All the milk went to the coffees, not to any kids. Yeah. No kids had milk. Good. Those little bastards don't need milk. <laughs> it was hot that day. It wasn't Oof. that bad. It was hot. It was worse when we left. But I, I, wanted, I wanted to bad. sit. <laughs> you should have sat. I wanted to we sit We kept taking over that poor lady's bag. I know. Well, like, oh. well. Yeah, well. She was funny. She's like, I don't have kids, and I'm watching them. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> she was a very good babysitter, though. Mm -hmm. It's funny. So I thought that was funny. <laughs> it was a good time. Yeah. And your mom came. It was great. It was a good time. Yeah. What else? What and else you, you got? drank the milk. I don't have anything. All right. You want to go to our? No, fun? you don't have anything. Nah, that's all I got. <laughs> I got shit. I was tired this week. I didn't sleep. Yeah, you haven't been sleeping. 
which means I, I actually you've been sleeping. I haven't been feeling good. I don't no, know, I know if you, you noticed. Uh, yeah. I have not been, and I actually got up in the middle of the night to take some drugs a couple nights ago, and I was just like, I got up and I like hobbled to the bathroom and I like took some drugs and I hobbled back to bed. <laughs> yeah, this last week I've been living off of Zquil, and I ran yeah, out. you uh, put yourself to sleep a couple times with the yeah. Zquil and you ran out. But then I wake Sorry up anyway. That. So yeah. then I'm more tired the next day. <laughs> just hit myself in the head with a hammer. Huh. Uh, all right, let's That's, get to it. Is it going to be a short show? I don't know. We'll see what happens. I have no idea what time it is because I can't see past all the, our, our friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> our little crazy friends. Do you know the name of this one? Yes. What is it? Um, uh, porcelain Kitty Von Porcelain Face. Mm. Try again. Von Sissy Pants. Mm. Close. Corny Pants? Mm. Pussy Pants. Close. Sis- Von Sissy Whiskers. <laughs> Isn't it Sissy Whiskers? Pussy Whiskers. No? Lord Sissy Whiskers Von Freaky Eyes. Oh, yes. That's it. <laughs> Lord Sissy Whiskers Von Freaky Eyes. Yes. Yeah. Anyway. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. There you go. But I guess I, I pointed at she the She was pointing the porcelain, at her vagina by her way. I was pointing way, at the so you know. porcelain cat, no, you but weren't. you can't see it she was pointing unless at her you watch the YouTube video. Vagina, so it was Lord I keep S- doing visual Sissy funnies. Whis- yeah. Sissy Whiskers Von Freaky Eyes because right. her boobs point in a different direction. Like uh, That's a terrible thing to say. Don't say that. Like Tori Spelling. Well, she had some work done. In a, and she's got Von Freaky eyes. I'm not sure she went to a reputable doctor. I would imagine she did. I mean, if your dad's Aaron Spelling. Yeah, but not every doctor is good just because it says doctor. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't say, I, didn't, I didn't know that was the argument. <laughs> you made me almost throw up. <laughs> well, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, and um, before I forget, I think that um, we have some friends uh, celebrating some 100 episodes. Um, I think it's uh, Dropping Loads is doing a live show tomorrow, Saturday, for their 100th episode. I believe Henna wrote some riffs for them. I believe he did. So check them out. And um, there's someone else who but just did their But you won't hear this till episode. after. God, so God, don't God. say tomorrow right. because they are going right. to listen to it on. It happened today. You missed it. What? It's happening. <laughs> we can still download it yeah. on Stitcher and iTunes, I'm sure. Yeah. But um, anyway, so a shout out to those guys. Who else? Anybody else with 100? There's someone else who just hit 100, and I'm trying to remember who it is. It just hit 100. I don't know. Um, Geek Dig just hit 100. Oh. They? Uh, is really? that true? I don't Clint, know. Clint, is that you're true? Making, you're making stuff up now. Oh, I'm going to look it up. I think I would have known. Anyway, let's get on to our favorite five so we can make pizza. Okay. You say what it is. No. You say what it is. <laughs> well, I think that we're actually going to end up doing a Put series of these things. Well, I want to ask Clint if that's a 100 no, episode. We'll, okay. we'll look at it later and we'll talk okay. about it next week. I think it might be. Okay. We love you, Clint. So, um, oh, that's one thing I want to say. Oh. I meant to say it at the top of the show. Oh, maybe we should start over. Totally kidding. Welcome to Dark Angels and Pretty <laughs> Freaks, episode 75. I'm Annalise. I'm Neil. Woo! Go. Um, <laughs> so I uh, just wanted to thank, you know, we, we get... I mean, we're very fortunate and very flattered because of all the people that listen. Uh, but a lot of the people that listen are fellow podcasters and just really want to thank everybody. It's so cool uh, to listen to other podcasts and they'll be like talking about us or talking about our show or something we've done. Something that, like Podcast That Borders who refuses to talk about us now. Whatever. There's a lot of podcasts. <laughs> uh, Gotham Lights is not talking about us anymore. What? Mm-hmm. So well, we just mentioned you guys. There's a lot of podcasts. <sighs> but... But it's all done in, you know, I'm. Mean, it's just, it's really flattering for all the support that we get. And just wanted to say thank you. Thank you. Appreciate so, it. All those podcasts that aren't mentioning us anymore. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you anyway. We appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So our favorite five this week is kind of funny and it goes along with kind of, I think what might be an ongoing theme for us. So we did Keanu Reeves movies. Because I am an actual Keanu Reeves fan. So am I. I'm also a fan of what I've seen of the new Jared Leto Joker. Really? So, yeah. Ooh, that's going to start something. Oh, it's already <laughs> started a bunch of crap. All right. So world. our favorite five this week is Johnny Depp movies. That's right. I am also a big Johnny Depp fan. You are. And, well, I'm um, a regular size Johnny Depp fan. <laughs> uh, who the what now was doing a Johnny Depp quest there for a while, but they haven't done a report lately, so I'm not really sure how that's going. I have to get back on it, back on the quest. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Do you want to go first? No. I'll yes. go first. Okay. Well, who do you want to have go first? I... Zero. You want to go first? Zero, what's your favorite Johnny Depp movie? Yeah. 
That mm. dog's not all there. Yeah, well. Okay. All right. Me or you? You uh, or me? You, you choose. I'll go. All right. Number My five. My number five is From Hell. What? From Hell. Oh, okay. What was that? <laughs> That's a dog. And if you guys can hear that, he's super high pitch. It almost sounds like there's some weird feedback, but Where it's actually he? the dog. He's just in the hallway. Oh, what a goofball. <laughs> he's in the hallway whining. So From Hell, I don't know if you know this, but is adapted from a graphic novel is by it? Alan Moore called From Hell based on Jack the Ripper and was published by Top Shelf Comics. And we, in fact, have a limited edition graphic novel out on our bookshelves. Well, there you go. And... um. Anyway, I really, uh, I enjoyed it, and I thought it was good, and I enjoy kind of the Jack the Ripper lore and mystery of it all, but um, I enjoyed the movie. Did you see it? I ordered new strings for the 12 string and um, for Rose City Comic Con. Okay. <laughs> Just thought of that right now because it, it's sitting there. I was talking okay. to Hannah today. So. Are we taking that with us? Is that what you're trying to say? Oh. Yeah. Okay, why? So we can play. I know and I. Hmm. And Dave. Oh, would, Hannah wasn't bringing his own? No, because he's flying. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, there you go. I don't know what that's to do with my movie choice. From hell. That's where I ordered them from. Okay. That wasn't funny, but no. it was in my head. All right. <clears throat> All it's right. A, that's good. I can't, I want, I would like to see the graphic novice. It's out there. Out you would there. like it. It's a little graphic, actually. It's a little dark. Like, when I was reading it, I was actually reading it outside and I remember thinking that I needed to maybe not read that outside with other people around, and I should. Um... Well, they'd have to be really looking. If... Right, but I guess I mean it's just one of those moments where I was like, you know, reading the uh, the graphic novel, and there was, you know, it's artists, not like you were reading butt blasters. Artist renderings of you know, blasting murdered people. prostitutes, and I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't be reading this out here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so, My... but yeah, you didn't say if you've seen it. I asked you. I did not. Oh, okay. So My... we have the movie and the book. Okay. All right. All right. We should uh, have uh, Moving the Needle do a little book to the movie on that. Sure. If, if yeah. Okay. If anyway, sorry. To... Go ahead. What's your number five? Sweeney Todd. Nice. Mm-hmm. I, I, not a lot of people like that. Well, I didn't know a lot of people did. It was considered I liked it. a commercial success. But uh, a lot of people you talk to are like. I'm sorry. They said what? <laughs> <laughs> and I really liked it. <laughs> <laughs> what they said it's a shame sometimes like you'll listen to critics and they'll be like oh that's the breakdown of their Siskel thoughts and feelings and Eber, <laughs> <yeah>. or Eber <laughs> Roper whoever the hell does movies now oh they'll be like gosh. so this okay. week we saw Sweeney Todd <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like I don't what does that mean did you like it or not <sighs> <sighs> okay <clears throat> mm-hmm. what's your number four I keep swallowing into Todd. the mic. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's a good movie. Although if you talk to some people, they're like... <laughs> <laughs> Although if you ask some people, they're like, what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> How did you think the singing was? I thought it was all right. I really like the imagery. I like the, the color tone. I like the darkness of it. I liked it. I like that Johnny Depp was in it. I like dark comedies. And he's... All right, what's your number four? What's eating Gilbert Grape? I that almost made it on my list, mm -hmm. but I hadn't seen it in so long that I couldn't quite make it there. I enjoy that movie. I mean, I, I really think the star of that movie is Leo mm -hmm. DiCapriotti. Right. Um, but he does a great job. But I think I think the two of them really work they well, really together. well together. Have they ever worked together after that? I would imagine not because... I don't think so i can't remember a movie that they've ever done together ever since uh i'm sure we'll get some tweets when about it, johnny but... depp slept with uh leo's wa uh not wife mom sorry Stop it, it was weird <laughs> allegedly no i'm joking that never <laughs> happened or it did happen and i i'm just totally pulled that out of my mm. butt i don't know that it happened i don't think it happened are you sure i'm not sure mm. starting some rumors no no I'm just talking out my butt <laughs> you do that a lot apparently <laughs> Hey, my tires don't have to be Z-rated. When's the last time you saw that? Which one? What's Eating Gilbert Grape? Oh, it's probably been about seven, eight years. 
I think I've only seen it once right after it came out. I don't oh, think I've, I've seen, seen it, it since then. I've seen it a myriad of times. I think I times. may have seen like glimpses of it, you know, like on HBO oh, like or something. like you'd be like walking by and they're like, oh, it's well, Best no, Buy. Well, no, like, Look, you know, you, you flip it around, you see what's on and you stop for like five minutes and then you start to get sucked in. Like, oh, no, I got to change the channel. Otherwise, I'm going to have to get a box of tissue for Like crying. a distant ship smoke on but, the horizon? When huh? you were a child, you had a fever? Is that a song lyric? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Pink Floyd, <laughs> as a matter of fact. I don't really like Pink Floyd. Well, Pink Floyd's not very fond of you. They called me and they were like, that chick <laughs> has got to go. And I'm like, come on, Roger. She's I think cool. that I'm just not stoned enough to enjoy it. I, I'm not stoned either. Currently. <laughs> well, what? <laughs> no, I know. I don't know. I just, and you don't have to, you don't have to tweet at me. It's okay that I don't like Pink Floyd. Just, it'll be all right. <laughs> fell just like, okay. All right. What's your, um, what no, number are we on? You're on number four. I just did number four. What was number four? What's your number four? What's eating Gilbert Grape? Oh, okay, so I'm on number three. No, what was your number four? Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd. What's your number three? Edward Scissorhands. Edward Penis Hands. Scissorhands. Solid porn. <laughs> big dongs. Um, I I really liked it, and I thought it was super original and I it was a good um, movie. so visually amazing. I think I just and I think it was just unlike anything else I ever saw before. So and f- it, it, it holds really up, cool. but for the time. The yeah. colors and yeah, the so idea. Yeah, so striking. And it's been copied many a time, the whole use of color and tone and all of that. But Amazing um, how people be like, I'm using color in a movie. You're like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean. Come on. Mm-hmm. But um, I, it did really well. I, yeah, I think you're right. I think it still holds up and it's still, yeah, I like it. Nice. No else to say about it. Okay. I thought it was a great movie myself. You've seen it many a time. How many times do you think you've seen it? Oh, I've seen it a lot. Yeah. I yeah. think I've only seen Funny, it two, I'm gonna tell you I right think, now, three times. It's not on my list. Really? Mm-hmm. I thought for sure it would be. No. Because we've actually talked about this movie, so yeah. I assumed it would be. No. And I, I think, really like the movie, too. Not to break our um, countdown, but um, I would it's like to the say final countdown. in advance <laughs> that there's a couple movies that aren't on my list <laughs> because I haven't <laughs> seen them. For example, okay, you done? I haven't seen Ed Wood in its entirety, so I didn't put it on my list because I can't claim that because I haven't seen the whole thing. I've only seen a couple snippets of it, so sorry. Okay. <laughs> so that um that was my number three. Which number three? My number three is Chocolat. You know, I've only seen that once, and I don't really remember if I liked it or not. Uh, again, a lot of people are not too into it. It was mm-hmm. again a success. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought it was a really good movie, but I've got that Euro Argentinian. You know, like touchy feely crap going on. <laughs> Why do you do that when I'm taking a drink? You, you did it on to. purpose. No, it's just true. So you I was like, Euro. Yeah. What's the word I'm for? Oh, we should talk for? about the shorts I bought. Oh, yeah, we should. <laughs> Speaking of Euro, I was talking about it on a Google Hangout. <laughs> Nickel was not impressed at all by the whole thing. He was confused by the whole purchase and wanting to wear them. Uh, okay, well, finish your chocolat. It's a good movie. I like it. Because I like to touch things. Mm. Okay. Interesting. Like chocolate. All right. Um, so tell everybody about the shorts you purchased, and then we'll get back to our favorite five. So we were we were watching the hell were we watching? Oh, Idiot Abroad. Mm-hmm. And there were a bunch of dudes on the beach wearing those super short Brazilian swim trunks. And I thought I should get some of those for Jamaica. And you were like, that would be cool because your shorts are too long anyway. Yeah, your shorts are like pants. Yes. And I then wear your legs shorts. are white. And then just you have brown calves and white thighs. Right. And so milky I, white thighs. <laughs> milky white <laughs> thighs. So I ordered a pair of these super short, tight Brazilian shorts and they arrived. Well, we thought they would look They're like boxer briefs. Well, yeah. I mean, I thought that they would look more like your underpants or something they look like a very small version they of that. look like a really small version of underpants i i and when i saw them i don't understand how all of your bits i tried them on stay inside well i have little bits so they don't have lo- they didn't go anywhere they stayed really yeah and i did jump they didn't jacks fall off the side nope you did jumper jacks yeah. why don't you do this stuff when i'm home like so i can enjoy it well i'll i will but i i Let's tried put those on. things back on and do some jumping jacks i have the guts to wear those <laughs> to be honest with you I'm going to take them to Rose You'll City. You'll go to the naked beach? What, what the hell would you take them to Rose City for? Because I might wear them when we first meet everybody. Because <laughs> that would be less embarrassing than wearing them on the beach. Wow. Yeah. You think so? I think so. 
I don't think Especially so Especially if I have like some high tops. Considering how many people keep tweeting that they're going to take recording equipment, I don't see why you would ever wear anything like that in RCC. So I don't know <laughs> if I have the guts to pull these things off, but I got them. I'm looking forward to these jumping jacks. What's uh, your number three? I already told you my number three. It's Edward Scissorhands. Oh, that was three? Yeah. So what are we on? My number two? I don't know. What do you want? Did we do your number three? I did shock a lot, right? That was my number three. Oh, okay. Then it's my turn. Okay. You're number two. Is uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. And we could go with the whole series if you want because he plays the same character. But I was thinking the original oh, because... That's amazing. Did you just see something weird? Yeah. This is really cool. You got to see this. Okay. Go ahead and keep talking. Pirates of the Caribbean. Um. So when I saw the first one, I... um. Ready? Isn't that neat? Like it bleeds into the ice. Sorry. Um, Sorry, everybody. What was I doing? <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, but when it came out, like I hadn't, you know, obviously he hadn't played that character before. So it was new and cool and interesting and funny. Captain and I liked Jack it. Black. Yeah, that. <laughs> and um, and then it's become like such a huge thing since then. Phenomenon. Phenomenon, if you will. Phenomenon. Yeah. So I think it's really cool. I was a fan yeah. of those movies myself. I think I like the first one a lot. Mm -hmm. Then I like the other ones because it was kind of like right. I like the characters, but I yeah, and they're um starting to film five now. So ow, yes, very cool. Yeah, my number two mm -hmm. Johnny Depp movie, as my dad likes to say, <laughs> is Ed Wood. Right. I'm I, th a huge I thought fan I thought that, that might be on your list, but I haven't seen the whole thing. So like I said, I couldn't quite. Big fan of that movie. I like the other actors in the movie also. I thought the movie was done really well. Again, uh, I don't think that one was a commercial success. Um, I think it was eventually with all the DVDs and but all that. But a lot of people go meh, meh, meh about that one too. And I don't know really? why. Really? I always thought everybody liked it. I don't think I've heard people talk badly about it in oh, my really? circle. Yeah. Oh. I don't have a circle. I'm more of like a, of a An oval parallelogram. <laughs> Hexagon? Yeah. It's difficult <laughs> in the corners. People get really upset at each other. So. All right. That's my number two. How many times you've seen that? Because what's really funny mm. about some of these movies is I've seen some of them. Like I've seen. I, Pirates. I think I've seen Pirates Pull of the Caribbean. The strings. Like, that's in the movie. I, see, I don't know that because I haven't seen it. I, I want to say, I probably. <clears throat> I'd like to say, like, I love 75 times, maybe five or six times. No, I think I've seen Pirates of the Caribbean like 20 times. Like 20 times? Like 20 times. Like 20. The original Dude, or all of them? Like there's like, four of them. I've seen so. all of them several times and I've probably seen the first one close to 20 times. 150,000 times. No, I've seen Jaws like 300 times. 700 times. Maybe. I heard that you watched it every day for okay. two years. No? That's what you told me. So that was number two? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready for my number one? No. Do you have a guess? No. no. Go ahead. Sleepy Hollow. Oh, that didn't make it to my list. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't think the supporting cast was very good, except for Christopher Walken. Well, cause it's my favorite movie. And his the lady who played his mom. I thought she was good. Christopher Walken's in that movie. In Sleepy Hollow, yeah, he's the headless horseman. Oh, right, 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 right. You might might remember him if it's your <laughs> favorite. <laughs> I just blanked out there for a second. Right, right, right. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um. But yeah, so um, it's actually my favorite sick day movie. I think we've talked about that. I think we've I actually watched it a few times. Yeah, and I think that I well, mentioned it. I've watched it a few for times. some reason. You turned it on and fell asleep because I probably wasn't feeling good. No, no, you and were I, sick. You were homesick. Yeah, yeah, so it's my favorite sick once day movie. Once was in the apartment. Once was in the trailer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of my favorites, and I like. I don't know why, but I just really like the it, and I like the story. The yeah, like the Sleepy Hollow Cardinal. Oh, are you okay? Bitch. That'd be really weird because we're inside and okay. <laughs> um, what are you doing? I, keep, I was looking at the time don't to see where we're at. Don't don't worry worry about it. You don't worry about it. I'm not. <laughs> well, anyway, I've seen Sleep, Sleepy Hollow many, many, many times right. more than more than Jaws. Not more than Jaws. More than Pirates of the Caribbean. But it's probably my second most watched movie. What's your first? Jaws. Oh, I was hoping you'd say something else and be like, no. <laughs> Um, there's another movie that I've watched, I would say is my third most watched, and I don't think you'll ever guess what it is, so I'll tell you. Down and Out in Beverly's Hills. It's called Enchanted April. Oh. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Have you seen that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's starring, um, <laughs> Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> oh, God. And Hugh Beaumont. Yeah, she records from jail. And Jerry Mathers as the beaver. <laughs> nice. 
okay. as Lindsay Lohan's beaver. <laughs> you do that on purpose, I no, swear. I, I don't know when you're going to drink. You see me pulling the glass to my face? Wow. <laughs> So tell me about this April, who's been enchanted. Enchanted April. It's a British movie, and it's a. It's a um, I'm not actually sure how to describe it, but it's kind of three. Uh, women, two are married, and they're kind of unhappy, and they all three go away on this holiday, and which to split the cost of the holiday, and um, they end up kind of. Finding sex? No. End up uh, kind of finding themselves and uh, finding peace and becoming really, really close friends. And oh. it's a really touching kind of... And everything... I like it when it, everything comes together at the end. And at first you're kind of like, you know, like I said, the unhappy... The two of the ladies are unhappily married. But oh, they, they they kind of figure out that maybe they could try a little harder and maybe it's not just them. And, Bitches always came, you know what I'm saying? Get on it. Anyway. <clears throat> Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> What's your number one? itself, ladies. Woo! What? No. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Sleepy Hollow? That's mm -hmm. not my number one. What's your number one? Um, I don't know which number one is now because it's not what I thought it would be. What did you think it would be? I thought it would be Edward Scissorhands. No. Edward Scissorhands didn't make the list. Which is weird because I thought it would be your number one. So it's, it's good completely movie. not. <laughs> like the movie. Okay. Makes me want to watch it now. Um, I was going to say something. You had said something about Enchantment and April's. I forgot. Uh, my number one is Benny and June. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. It was all right. <laughs> okay. I'm just joking. <laughs> Still my I don't remember it. I don't really. I, I know that I've seen Aiden it. Quinn. I don't remember it very well. Mary Stewart Masterson, Master. John Bond. There's so many Mary Stewart Masterson Antonios. <laughs> yeah. Um, it I think was, I, I the like... blonde girl who was also in um, that movie with Eric Stoltz. Yeah. I, I just, there was something about that movie that clicked with me. That I remember liking it, and I remember make, it making me a little bit sad, too. What's the sad part? Uh, well, he is told to stay away from uh, June. Right. And, you know, June has has some issues, and as does Benny. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, I, I don't know. It, there's just, there's something about it that I just think is, uh, it creates a precious moment for me. <laughs> That's good. I mean, I remember liking it. I just don't remember very much. I think I've only seen it one time. Yeah. Uh, and obviously I, I a long owned time it ago. on uh, VHS. VHS. Mm -hmm. Did you still have that? I thought I... No, the only VHS I have is our music video and Faster, Faster, Pussycat, Kill, Kill. Right. The Russ Meyer movie, <laughs> which might be my favorite movie of all time. I don't try. I do it. <laughs> oh, no, I don't try anything. Um, I do it. I haven't seen it. Russ Meyer, <laughs> just the weirdest <laughs> movies, but a lot of fun. I mean, it was kind of cool because the the women were the strongest characters, and they mm -hmm. would just beat the guys up and kick them in the face, and <laughs> be like, "Ah, we rock, and you suck." We both have a list of our favorite movies. Um, Who, who's parts we of both? which me and you. I have a list of favorite movies. Yeah. You have a list of favorite movies. And there are some I movies have, have on list. each other's lists that we haven't seen. Was I supposed and to I make think a that, physical list? No, no. I think that we should watch each other's favorite movies. Okay. What do you think about that? Uh, I guess. Are your favorite <laughs> movies good? Wow. Because you don't have to watch mine. They're my favorite movies. I'm, I'm perfectly <laughs> fine liking them um, myself. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't necessarily expect you to like it. But, I mean, I would like to... So when you talk about your favorite movie, I'd like to know what you're referencing. And well, I mean, so you've seen Top Gun. <laughs> you haven't seen Spinal Tap. Right. You haven't seen Faster, Faster, Pussycat, Kill, Kill, which no. the band is named after. Right. Uh, I the that, band but... is just named Faster, Pussycat. Um, what else? What? It's another one of my favorite movies. Um, you've seen the other one, Nightmare Before Christmas. Right. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Mm -hmm. uh, Donnie Darko. Mm-hmm. Benny and June. <laughs> <laughs> and now Benny and June. What was your favorite Keanu movie? We should movie? do Will Smith movies. I forgot what it was. Ooh, uh, was it now. Johnny Mnemonic? No. It was on the list, though. Uh, my favorite. It might have been Johnny Mnemonic. Oh, I don't, look back. And I don't think Matrix made my you list. You know, I have either. it in my notes. I do, too. In my other notebook. <laughs> I don't think Matrix made my list. I don't think it did either. I think it made my list, but not yours. How long ago did we do that? 
That was a while. It was ago. a ways. It was like six months ago. Oh, anyway, no, I'm not gonna. Find All right, it. yeah, we won't find it. We'll, uh, if someone wants to know, we'll retweet it. We'll figure it out. Yeah, because I have it in my notes on another in my past notebook that I finished. Anyway. Yeah. All right. Now I want. Let's find do it. our little closeout. Uh, I don't have the little piece of oh, paper. You're done? Yeah. Do you oh. have more to talk about? Not really. <laughs> but I thought it would. I be I need fun. some more beer and pizza. Wow. <laughs> Oh, we did 80s movies. Oh, oh we're also going to say, um, are we saying anything about... Pumpkin Spice Latte. Puppy? How's that? Nope. Okay. Not talking about that. Okay, but we are talking about the fact that we're going to birthday dinner tomorrow. So next week we should have some birthday shenanigans stories, I'm sure, because we get after it. We are going to dinner at 6 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Right. We do. I don't even know. Some of these favorite five lists, I have no idea. I'm like reading the favorite fives and I'm you like. You don't remember doing them? No, not like, I don't even know what the, the. Oh, here we go. My number one was Point Break. Number two is Johnny Mnemonic. Ah, uh, there you go. Parenthood, Feeling Minnesota. and my What episode was that? Oh. oh, no, you just lost it, really? No, I'll find it again. Oh, God. No, keep talking about uh, um, something If you good. need to refer back to the Keanu Reeves favorite five episode, it is episode. It is episode <laughs> number. Uh, Number Andrew WK. Oh, here it is. Forty four. Nice. Wow, that was a, that's almost. Oh wow, that was a well, while I said ago. It was six months ago. We should do Will Smith movies. I wrote it down. Oh, oh, we'll did do I already week. say that? We're gonna do Will Smith. No, yeah. we're not gonna do it next week. Not next week, but I'll write on my yeah, notes. We'll do, yeah, on we'll my backup uh, favorite five list. Oh, do you have the? Li- oh, hold on. I don't have it. That's what I was asking oh. you for. Sorry, you guys. A new one. Or we're a little one? less prepared. I don't know if this is. Uh, this is a new one. Okay. Good for you. All right. So thank you, everybody, for listening. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Feel free to visit Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks to find all things Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. Don't forget we have our DAPF free app. You can find that on iTunes. And, of course, we are on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, Periscope. We're going to have a custom um, Avi Positor made. No, we're not. Um, Mm -hmm. And we're never really on Mixler, but we're on there, too. We are? No, we're and not, um, we're, we're on a whole bunch of podcast networks that we love and support, and they love us and support us. I like to I'm think. fond of them, <laughs> if you will. Please check out podcasts on dangerentertainment.net, wickedradionetwork.com, musingsofageek.com, poddam.com, podgodsnetwork.com, tangentaboundnetwork.com, and a huge shout out to um, Bethany. It's dangerentertainment.net. That's what I said, .net. Did you? That was the first one I said. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. you said .com. Um, Bethany from um, Pod Dam. It's her birthday today. Bethany. Birthday. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh. Happy birthday. I didn't know. I didn't. Yeah. It didn't show up. Married with Pod. Check out their pod. Happy birthday. And uh, check us out on iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Oh, you got a song. Check it out. Happy birthday. <laughs> check us out on Geek Life Radio and also sparkradio.us. Woohoo. What? That's it. We're done. Oh, we're done? Okay. Say, say goodnight. Good night. Bye. Isn't it like say goodnight, Irene, or say goodnight? Good night. Good night. Say good night. Uh, hmm. Does anybody remember that song lyric? Good night. Tony, hi. Help us out. Good night. Okay. Is bye. there a good night lyric? I good don't night, know. Good night. I'm leaving. I'm going to go pizza. Tonight's night.